Hi, Michael. Hey, then. Michael Seal, and we've known each other. The boss man. Michael Seal, the boss man. The, the boss man. Michael Seal, the boss man. <laughs> and I've known Michael, I guess, about 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. And Michael's a businessman. What's the hardest thing about being, being you, being in a chair, being 27, however it is? Okay, yeah. It's fun thing he asked me that, because I'm going to be really honest and straightforward with him. Okay, the hardest thing is not being able to go where you want, literally. So I, I would have to say not having a assistant, you know, but I'm working on it. You know, I have to make the time to work on that, but that will be a hard thing. Not having an assistant to follow my directions and or orders. Cause, the freedom. Because if I say I want to go with you to work for five hours, that's what we gotta do. You can get me dressed, wash me up, cut my nails, brush my teeth, and I'm off to work. Pick up my product and we gone. What hurts your feelings? Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, April. Well, I don't hurt the evening. Cause I'm, 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 I'm tough guy. You're tough. I work out, I eat right, nothing gets to me. Okay. Tell me about who inspires you. Okay, <laughs> okay. You might think it's strange, but um, Donald Trump, um, my Puzo, thank you for creating a character like Michael Corleone, because he, he's my true inspiration. Who's that? Michael Corleone, El Pacino, for the Godfather, what's wrong? Oh, I, <laughs> I don't even, okay. What's wrong with you? <laughs> a lot, a lot is wrong with me. And Scarface, eh? Thank you, Scarface. And uh, thank you, Gordon Gekko. What's up, Michael Douglas? I like, you know, of course, um, Jesus and Buddha and Genghis Khan. What inspires you? Um, uh, basically, good music, great business books. Uh, I, I'm kind of offbeat, because when you talk about business books, this is like, what is a business book, really? It's supposed to get you going to make more money for your company. But see, I'm old school. Because I read about John Gotti, I read about why you bought the, the games of Boston. I hope they never catch you. When you dream, how do you dream? What's your body like, like when you dream? I dream in color. And most of my colors, color has to do with red and gold. Because the Chinese, red, gold, and green. Because Italian believe red means prosperity, and J is good fortune, and gold, of course, is ancient money. So what do you want your family to know? <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> no, man. Like I said earlier to my family, I'm a man, just deal with it. I'm not trying to be belligerent or uppity or cause me anger or anger. But I'm just a man, complicated, com complex individual, but I'm just a man. You are a complex individual, and that's a good thing. So yeah. what scares you? Not too much. Good. Not having money. Not having money and being fatally ill. Fatally ill. Okay. How do you want people to approach you? <laughs> really? It depends. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what? <laughs> um, first, first of all, whether you're a guy. If you're a guy, just say, what's up, boss? What's up, homeboy? But if you're a girl, you know, if, if you're a woman, I mean, it's great there. If you're a woman, just say, hello, I'm here to meet you. Now. I'm so-and-so, and, -so and here's, my, here's my number. I mean, call me sometime. <laughs> call me sometime. Well, what's the stupidest question? that you've ever heard, that comes to your mind, if there is one. The one that really pissed me off is, when am I gonna get out of this wheelchair? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> now, if you had one last thing that you would like the general public to know, what do you want people to know, Michael, about you and about how you live? 
I'm feeling. I'm devoting. I'm tough. I'm strong. I am supremely loyal. And I trust hardly no one. Do you trust uh, me? Yeah. <laughs> and don't pity me. You're not anybody. Ain't anybody. You go out to other men, other women. When you see me, pay me my money or be my friend. But don't, don't pity me at all. Because, can you believe it? I still get there when I go to the movie. Or when I go out to dinner, like, sometimes, they say, and, and people who don't know me, they tell my mom, oh, poor thing. And I'm like, me and my mom, we just laugh. They don't know you, do they? I'm like, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best thing that I've heard yeah. anyone say in a long time. But, you know, respect me. Respect look, you I, and don't pity you. That's pretty basic. Respect me, respect me, don't pity me, and pay me. <laughs> do you have just because I'm a mom? Do you have a shout out for you, mom? Okay. Hey, mom, I love you. You're my biggest fan. You're the best soldier I have. And you be, and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for believing in all my dreams and telling me, saying you're the greatest. Because then, from the time I was little, I believed that I could conquer the world. And, hey, fellas, don't be a wimp. Don't be lazy. Go out there and conquer your own part of the empire. Carve out your own little big piece of the world. Mothers. And I love my mom. I love your mom too. And I want to give a shout out to all moms. Um, what can you say when you love your child and you take care of them? They can do anything. And I think that you've just proven that. No. You, you can't be afraid to go live your life, run your business, make piles of money. Go wherever you want because the chief characteristic of a boss 